Male infant circumcision continues to be a hot topic here in the United States, with people on one side of the divide arguing that we shouldn't perform unnecessary surgical procedures on infants who can't possibly consent to them, and people on the other side desperately trying to come up with reasons why we should. A new study seems to support the latter group, with outlets like the New York Times reporting that a controlled experiment has found no evidence for the belief that circumcision reduces sensitivity of the penis. I'd like to note here that even if that were true, that would still not be an argument in favor of circumcising a baby. For instance, if a study came out showing that slapping a baby in the face didn't make it uglier, that's not at all clear to start slapping babies in the faces. Unless that baby's being a real asshole, at which point, no. No, never slap a baby. But the infuriating thing is that it's not even true. The study the New York Times is referring to involved 62 men, about half circumcised and half not. That's half the group, not half of each man. That would be, that would be impossible. Uh, 62 men. So already you know that's probably not enough to really show much of an effect. And sure enough, the researchers themselves admit that they would need at least twice that number to produce a statistically significant result. And yet, they soldiered on. The researchers tested penis sensitivity in several places on both groups of men, including on the foreskin. I know what you're thinking. It's, wait a minute, how could they possibly test the sensitivity of the foreskin in the group that was circumcised? Exactly. If they detected any sensitivity at all in the foreskin on the men who were not circumcised, then it stands to reason that by definition, men who are not circumcised have more sensitivity. And in fact, not only did they detect sensitivity in the foreskin, they found that the foreskin was by far the most sensitive area on the penis in both groups. And I should mention that that was testing the outside of the foreskin. They didn't even go near the inside of the foreskin, which is supposedly much, much, much more sensitive. So really all this study said was that being circumcised doesn't make the rest of your penis that's left less sensitive. But really they can't even say that because they didn't have enough subjects. Also, they say that being circumcised does remove the most sensitive part of the male penis, maybe. And I only say maybe because, again, they didn't have enough subjects. But that result does pair well with all of the other research that has been done to date about the penis. It also jibes with my own personal experience. But until I publish, you're just going to have to take my word for it. And the word of every uncircumcised male on the planet.